Congratulations, you, you have received your Lars Pet Gear Z harness, the only pain and frustration free uh, training harness on the market today. Let's put it on. Okay, there, your harness compo is composed of the padded sections that, that uh, protect your dog from any pressure points and then the webbing which goes over the top to attach it to them. So, as you see, we have a V-shaped piece which goes runs up their chest. The stiffened piece goes between their front legs and then the back piece will go up over their spine. Um, it's very simple to put on and to adjust. So, the, the front is, uh, consists of a, a cam lock and, and a plastic adjustable buckle. So first, undo your cam lock then the plastic buckle, and then do the same on the back. Go ahead and undo the cam lock uh, and the plastic buckle. The back cam lock this will be, should be the only time you have to adjust that. And then you want to pull some slack through so it can go over your dog's head. Make sure your dog's collar is out from under it. And of course you'll want to stand up and uh, bring the stiffen piece to your dog's neck, make, bring it down towards the end of the rib cage, and go ahead and buckle it. Now this, uh, the back slide prote uh, spine protecting padded piece um, is, will articulate back and forth through the, the body of the harness. So you want to position it over the spine of your dog and then go ahead and uh, let's adjust the front. So go ahead and pull, pull through the front cam buckle and pull it to where it's just firm. Lock the cam buckle. Take your, um, and then re-buckle re the, uh, the other side with the adjustable buckle. Now what's important here is, is so your dog won't back out of your harness, is that, come on baby, uh, is that um, this piece is, adjust, is adjusted by simply putting your, your thumb or four fingers under the bevel of the buckle and just pulling it through. Um, it's the same to tighten it. So you, what you want is that, so your dog can't back up but out of, out of, out of their, the, the top loop, even if they do, they won't escape. But go ahead and make it so it just goes about, goes about halfway up their neck. Now the reason we have that cam buckle there is so this piece will never tighten. The energy goes directly to the, to, down to the stiffened section and to the strongest part on your, dog, your dog's uh, structure, which is their, their sternum area. And um, any pressure will gently take the, take the traction from their front legs. Then to adjust the back, take the, uh, now this is just a plastic slide to keep, the, to keep the loose end out. Go ahead and you wanna pull it back, pull it back a little bit, and then just firm it. And um, as you can see, there's some, some uh, webbing pieces here that stop it from going back too far. And then just firm it up. You can tuck this back through, back through, through the, uh, the loose end uh, tie down. And then your leash will attach, will attach to this floating D-ring or O-ring, depending on the size of your harness like this. Of course, we always recommend that you use uh, large Z, Z uh, leash products for their shock absorbing capability, and there you go.